Yes, good morning. Well, we are now coming on to the I-90 ramp here, the first metered ramp. We're coming up to the meter right now, which just went live at 630. So about half an hour ago, as you see, you come to the red light. You have to wait until it turns green and tells you to go. Both lanes here are metered. The Washington State Department of Transportation says you will need to be prepared to make two lanes, both of which will be metered, as I said, letting cars go at opposite times. You'll see two flashing yellow lights that will tell you that the ramp is metered. A WASHDOT traffic engineer says the underground detection at the ramp allows the traffic signals to know when it is time to let drivers go and when to stop others. The US 195 I-90 ramp was chosen due to the amount of car crashes associated with this particular ramp. Vehicles pull up and there's a platoon of cars. So you have 10 cars all trying to get into one spot. and that creates collisions because what we get is either cars slow way down on the ramp or they stop on the ramp. And then what that causes is I-90 traffic to go into a, a slowdown and shock waves and accidents associated with that. This will help reduce that by allowing one vehicle to come on in a metered rate. So it'll set a gap between cars. He also says this new metered ramp should reduce congestion on I-90 and give people a more reliable estimate of commute times. During peak traffic hours, you could be waiting at the ramp for three to four minutes, but during normal traffic times, you could be waiting anywhere from four to 15 seconds. WASHDOT plans to add metered ramps to five other I-90 locations eastbound at the Walnut Street on ramp, eastbound at the Monroe Street on ramp, eastbound at the Division Street on ramp, eastbound on the Hamilton Street on ramp, and westbound on the Brown Street on ramp. Now each metered ramp costs anywhere from $300,000 to $400,000. You will see those five other ramps by summer of 2020. For now, I'll send it back to you in the studio.